Hey guys, responding to Anissian now. Um, I could not respond to him sober because uh, I needed to kill a few brain cells to make this a fair battle of the wits. So, um, yeah, I uh, drank a load of vodka and I'm going to get really drunk and respond to Anissian. <sighs> the reason I want to talk about rebounding is for the sake of everyone watching this, so they do not make the same mistakes I have made. Rebounding involves two parties, probably, where one party has lowered their standards significantly due to them being lonely and desperate. Yeah, that would be her, Anissian. And another party is taking advantage of that fact and dating them, even though under all circumstances, that most people would never be with them. That would be you, Anissian. Oh no, 20 people before they got to 30. That's like, that's like nearly two people a year. Fucking hell. Uh, I'm sorry, I thought you slept with six people in Issyon. Uh, what six times four? I am pissed out of my fucking head, and I can tell you that that's 24, and that's more than 21. Oh no! Someone having sex for reasons other than love? Oh, good for you! Boo-hoo! Well, you're a twat then, aren't you? If you've got those firm rules and you're just going to ignore them because you're a bit desperate for a change. Oh no! Think of the poor little animals! At least for the animals that die because of her die for a fucking reason, unlike that deer which you supposedly ran over. And oh no, the deer's a stupid fucking twat because he got in the way of your car and ruined it. How dare he ruin your car and die? I'd do the fucking same even if I was a vegetarian. If it was to piss you off, fuck, you know what? Actually, yeah, screw this. I'm eating my cat, just to piss you off. <sighs> anyway. No, I don't. I don't give a shit. Uh, you never lie, ever, do you, Anissian? Everything you say is the truth, and everything anyone says which is bad against you is always a lie. Every single fucking time. Well, some pe sometimes people do cheat. It's a fact, uh, it's a fact of life. I think it's something like 50% of people cheat at some point in their life. Sometimes they actually have a fucking good reason. I slept with married women before. The last married woman I slept with, she hadn't had sex for five years because her boyfriend and um, because her husband turned out to be gay, and it was a marriage of convenience. Um, <laughs> he was actually all right with it. But, you know, someone cheating doesn't automatically make them the worst person since fucking Hitler. Yeah, there you go. You're a pathetic fucking twat. Don't blame anyone except yourself. Oh, well, their opinion matters so much. I mean, she slept with an average of two people a year. 
Fucking hell! I've slept with 26 people by the tw time I was 22, and I lost my virginity when I was 21! Someone has a low self-esteem, so fucking what? You're going to hold that against someone? You're going to... You're going to demonize someone because they're in a... They've been in a low... In, in a low state for a while? Fuck you, Onision, you fucking dickhead! Oh, so you don't understand someone's personal um, personal behavior or preference, therefore you're going to be a moralizing arsehole about it. Well, clearly not, but we don't know the whole circumstance behind that. You might even be making the whole fucking thing up. All we've got to go by is your fucking word, and you've been proven to be a liar time and time again. Uh, no one, no, no one uh, takes a piss out of police officers when they're drunk. No, that's uh, n yet yeah, no one ever does that. So she was with, with an abusive ex, and she hit him back after she hit him. Um, excuse me, but where's the problem with that? And if, uh, supposing you did hit uh, one of your girlfriends and she hit you back, would that make, would that make her a bad person, or would that make her someone who's acting in self-defense? Oh, and secondly, um, I think most women could beat the shit out of you. Um, beat the shit out of you. Um, it seems that you're actually missing quite a lot of the Y chromosome. Well, there you go, don't fucking blame anyone else, you dickhead! Well, all we've got is your account to go by there. She might have been joking, people do that. I've had like five, six women try to um, jokingly ask to marry me over on blog TV in the last year alone. It doesn't mean they're always fucking serious, Anisian. Oh yeah, so let's define that arbitrary point of one year to decide that um, yes, you want some, um, you want to get married, and um, after you've only chatted on the internet. That's because you're thinking of your dick, if you have one. I've heard it's pretty small. Well, we've only got your account to go from on that, haven't we, at the moment? And, you know, I've heard you've got a tiny dick. You look like a tiny little bitch. Um, you clearly don't take anyone else's feelings into consideration, which is kind of important when you're having sex. You know, um, arrogance is not a good thing when you're having sex. You need to be able to be able to sort of read the other person, be able to tell if they're having a good time. You know... Um, all of these skills, from what I've seen of you, you seem to be considerably lacking.
if you ever want to like yourself after you go down, would you do that too? Well, if someone is being a sarcastic little fuck to me like that, then I'd probably choose to ignore them. If they if they had the um if they had the balls to tell me to my face that, you know, you know, James, you smell a little bit, can you please have a wash? I'd be like, Yeah, um sorry, I didn't realise that I smell. I'm gonna have a wash now. But if someone's gonna be that much of a passive aggressive fucking cryptic little twat, then I'm gonna fucking ignore them. And if they dump me, fuck it, I'm gonna find some, I'm gonna find another girl, because clearly she doesn't give a fucking shit about me if she's gonna be that much of a sarcastic little bitch. Because you're being fucking cryptic. Watching the videos is a fucking horrible experience. You ugly, hypocritical, moralizing little fucking cunt. You waste of a human life. No, calling you a waste of a human life is a fucking insult to humans. Humans are supposed to be omnivores. Um, you're a vegetarian. That places you somewhere below pigs, in my opinion. Well, there you go, it's your own fucking fault. She was desperate, you were desperate, you took advantage of her, she took advantage of you. End of fucking story, it happens. Well, you are, aren't you? Have you read the blog? You mean you're that poor at reading people? I've got fucking Asperger's syndrome. You know, I'm supposed to have a severe social disability, but if someone doesn't like me, I can tell pretty fucking quickly. You, you're that fucking arrogant that you can't accept the fact that someone doesn't like you. Uh, that, it's fucking terrible, Anissian. It's like, she never really gave a shit. I was used. She didn't lose any money. She didn't lose any friends. She said she, uh, made her get rid of her cast. Oh, boo hoo! Someone used you for sex. Someone wasn't completely fucking honest with you. Okay, when you have when you have a child with someone with someone who's used you um, for the last for the last six months, when you've had someone who's basically um, you know try um, basically um, offered you sex in order to stay um, to get a place to live, when you've had someone pl um, when you've had an ex girlfriend ply um, pay um, a friend of theirs to ply you with alcohol. And um, so that they they can have sex with you, and then char and then try and charge you with rape. Then I can understand you being fucking used. Okay, you've never been through any of that fucking shit. You're an immature little fucking twat who thinks that any tiny little wrongdoing against you is some sort of is like the worst crime since the fucking Holocaust. You have no fucking idea about what the real world is like. I thought you owned your own house, Anissian. Why for a pet fee? Yeah, you really love animals. That time when you hit a deer and you start saying about how the deer is just a stupid fucking asshole. I mean, how dare he smash your um smash your car up? 
It's so terrible. And not only that, not only did you think that the deer was in the wrong for smashing your car when you were doing 50 in a fucking snowstorm, you didn't even fucking eat it. You left the body just to rot for no fucking reason. Well, her clit was probably bigger than your cock. Well, a dog is kind of closer related to the human race than you, you sub-human vegetarian little twat. And you're bringing everyone into this fucking situation just to protect your, just to protect your fragile little fucking ego. Trying to get dirt on both of us? This is ridiculous. It's completely ridiculous. The animals are Morals are subjective. You're on a rebound, you were desperate, she was desperate, so fucking what? Don't blame her because of it. Yes. You have no fucking idea what it's like to be in a low state. You've had a steady income for fucking years. I've been in the situation in the last six months of not being able to fucking eat for four days. You have no motherfucking idea what it's like to be in a bad state. I'm pissed as a f fucking Irishman at the moment. And my brain's still working better than yours. And you've had time to plan this video. I'm doing this off the fucking cuff. <clears throat> Ah, oh, he's frozen. Ah, oh, yeah, you assume. Well, I've never got into a car and uh, driven it drunk. I hate you to your face. You lie all the fucking time. So you say. Well, yeah, we have to take your word for it, don't we, Anessian? That she mocked me for having emotions, for being in a bad state, because I wasn't man enough. And of course, she goes to insinuate that when we did make love, that I was forcing her into it. That I was pressuring her into it, and she didn't really want to. That's funny coming from someone who slept with over 20 people. Oh, and here's the motherfucking goldmine of, of ridiculousness here. Because she slept with 20 people, that means she doesn't have the right to say no. You see why people are calling you a rape apologist here? You fucking asshole. That's really funny. Not even that makes I would absolutely love to give you a fucking beating. I mean, you know, I'm pretty much a pacifist. But if you were here right now, I would beat you to fucking death. I would beat you until your skull caved in and I was just punching mush into the fucking floor. I really hate you that fucking much and it's a really good thing that you don't live on the same fucking continent as me. You patronising, sick, hypocritical, moralising little dickhead. And say what was really true. What's really true coming from you, you fucking asshole? Oh, 
No! Someone saying they were right? You want people to feel sorry for you. That sums up your whole fucking attitude, doesn't it? You want people to feel sorry for you and agree with you and stay subscribed to you and, you know, have your 13 to 18 year old impressional, um, impressional little teenagers um, agree with everything you say. Fuck you, you fucking cult leader. Was she, though? Really? Was she? Was she really that wrong? Or are you chatting shit as well? I, you know, you know, don't get me wrong. I know nothing about this woman, and the fact that she went out with you doesn't speak too well of her character. The chances are that she's probably chatting a little bit of shit as well, but you are fucking full of it, Anissian. People lie all the motherfucking time, Anissian, just like you're doing. Perhaps you should take your own advice then. Yeah, your version of the truth. I hate you so much. Good luck with that. Podcast or black? Black? I can't even speak and I'm still poning you. Oh, so I suppose she uh, completely slut shamed them, said that they were terrible people because they'd slept with more than 10 people in their life. She did all that, did she? Did she make a YouTube video which is viewed by 20,000 people? Uh, no, I don't think she did. I think she just made a little bit of a blog telling her side of the story, which may have had a little bit of embellishment, but from what I can gather, considerably less than yours. Okay, I wish you were dead. Do it then. Fucking do it. Prove you're telling the truth. Bullshit. It's exactly what a liar would say, isn't it, now? And many people in your life have been lied about. Yeah, because if you get a puppy, if you're feeling insecure and you're feeling unloved, you're feeling that you're not very, um, you're feeling really unattractive, a puppy's really going to help that out, isn't it? Says who? I know plenty of people who've been on rebounds who have had pets. Ah, oh, we go.
Well, here's the thing, Anissian. Some girls like to flirt on um, flirting texts. You know, that doesn't necessarily they mean they want to do it and they want to have sex immediately after they fucking meet you in person. Okay? I, I don't even know how to fucking respond to that. So, you know, I, I, I really don't. I mean, it's one thing having a bit of fun in text. It's another thing actually doing something. And, you know, for most women, you know, with most guys being, you know, kind of physically stronger than most most women, there's a bit of a trust issue there usually. And you see, you have to earn a little bit of trust in in real life before you can actually do the things you are talking about in the text, which is more of the fantasy kind of thing. I mean, there's a bit of an exception with you. I mean, you look weaker than most five-year-olds I know, but, you know, there's still a basic kind of concept there about, you know, have to build a bit of trust before you kind of do those things. I wish you were dead. I really wish you were fucking dead. I wish you would die. I wish that for some reason you would have a heart attack and fall on the floor and fucking die and do the whole world a favour and stop brainwashing your fucking teenage little cult, um, your teenage little cult members. Oh no, someone wanted to fuck you? Um, I, find, I actually find that quite hard to believe as it is, but... You know, if you want to fuck them and they want to fuck you, fuck them. If they don't, if they want to fuck you and you don't want to fuck them, don't fuck them. It really is that simple. You know nothing about sexuality. Oh, boo-hoo. You really in love? You met her in person for three hours and you're getting this emotional about it? What the fuck is wrong with you? I hate you. I really do. And? A moralising, hypocritical little fucking arsehole who has no idea of the outside world. Yeah, and you have no fucking idea what a traumatic sexual experience is. What so fucking ever. And how dare you compare this to rape. When you yourself are a rape apologist for saying that because she's had sex with 20 people, that it's laughable that she didn't want to have sex with you the second she fucking met you. You know, I'd rather actually be a rape, rape victim than be you at this point. In fact, if I was you, I would just kill myself. Right now, if I was you, Anissian, I would just stab myself to fucking death just to end... just to end the fucking bullshit. I don't, I don't think I could put up with the crap which goes through your mind every fucking second. You egotistical, sociopathic little shit.
You used her, she used you, end of fucking story. Stop making yourself sound like the fucking victim. You have no fucking idea what suffering is. Yeah, um, well, actually, I think I will rather, I'm going to believe more of what the stranger says than you, because you are a proven fucking liar. I don't talk to you every fucking day. I know just how much of a piece of fucking shit you are. I've watched maybe ten of your videos, and I've already seen the fucking mass amount of contradictions in the bullshit that you say. You haven't lived. Now we know. Oh no, you dated the wrong person. How can you live with yourself? One life event you've regretted. How terrible is that? Although I think that what you're regretting is the fact that she's actually exposed you for the dickhead that you are. Go fuck yourself. 